Is that Mike in the picture? Today, I'm gonna show you how I edit HDR real estate photos in Lightroom, quickly. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the fucking channel. So I can't curse, so no cursing on the channel. Welcome to the fucking channel. Today, I just wanna go through my start to finish workflow for editing real estate photos. When I first started doing this, I feel like I did things out of order, in my opinion, and it made the whole process a lot longer. So today, I'm just gonna go through my workflow so that maybe you guys can get something out of it. Let's get into it. All right, first things first, let's jump into Lightroom here, import our photos. So I have three photos essentially here, five exposures per bracket. So the first thing I wanna do is merge those into HDRs. So I'm gonna hold shift click. I'm gonna hit control H on a Mac. And then you pick your settings. I like to create stack. Once it's ready to go, just hit merge and it should do the rest. And there you go. So for the next set of photos, you could shift click to select those five. This time hit control shift H and it will continue to merge this next set with the previous settings you did for the photo before. Then I'm gonna do that for this final photo here. Bada bing, bada boom, we're done here. So when you have a ton of photos from a real estate shoot, drone, tripod, interior, exterior, you have a lot of bracketed photos. So it could get confusing when you're doing all these HDRs. So I like to use stacks and then I like to select all when I have the stacks and then create a new collection. So I scroll down here, create collection, include selected photos, call this whatever, then you got your new collection right here. So at this point, I would make the mistake of jumping into the edit pretty deep when it's easier to do the things that could be copy and pasted from photo to photo first so that you could make this whole workflow a little easier. Since these are drone photos, I have a preset for what I wanna add to every single drone photo. You can make a preset yourself. I've made a Mavic 2 preset for my real estate photos. And what it includes is things like texture, clarity, dehaze, profile, lens corrections. So what I wanna do first is scroll down to that preset, click it. As you can see, I've added that lens correction as well as some texture clarity and dehaze. Then I wanna copy and paste that to my other photos. And there you go. It should be noted that you might have to add profile corrections later. It might not always be a preset because you're using a lot of different cameras. This one is just my personal preset for the Mavic 2 Pro. Next thing I wanna do is make sure my white balance is where it needs to be. So I'm gonna quickly kinda of tweak this white balance, get it a little bit where I want it. That looks pretty good to me. And I'm just gonna copy um, just the white balance over to the other two photos. So after white balance, it's pretty much you applying your personal edits, so. There we go. That's pretty much it. So just to go over all the steps again, you wanna merge all those photos into their HDRs. Then you wanna drag and drop those HDRs you made into a new collection so they're nice and organized. Third, you wanna add your initial corrections that can be copy and pasted from photo to photo. So lens corrections, white balance, etc. If it makes it easier, make a preset. Make a preset for the camera you're using or the lens you're using. Uh, just make it easier on yourself in the future. Make sure you hit those profile corrections. Make sure you hit that white balance. And then uh, make it look good. Not too good. Don't overdo it. It's real estate. This isn't Peter McKinnon's house. It's just a house. Thanks for watching this video. I'm so happy to be putting content on YouTube, but it's been daunting for me for a while. Quick disclaimer, I know that there's other ways to do this, possibly better ways to do this, of course. Photoshop layers, I know. But this is just my workflow at the moment, and I hope it helps somebody out out there. Thanks for watching.